So yeah, housing inventory is down 40%. 40%. Wow. It's always been, well, not always, but it's been consistently 10%, 20%, but 40%. And I do have a question, by the way, during, when we go through this, but 40%. So if you all want to run your numbers real quick, just a year ago, what you had, I did listing contracts a year ago versus list, you know, from January 1st of two, uh, 2020 to April 7th of 2020. And then the same period this year, it's very interesting, just listing contracts. So listings taken, um, but prices are up sharply And this, uh, articles from housing wire. If you, if you want to go see that, go over to housing wire. Uh, they have some graphs and stuff. You can go into more detail. Uh, that we don't always get into, but prices are up sharply as housing inventory continues to plateau, leaving 40% fewer homes on the market compared to last year. Dude. And that's, that, that's a lot. And that is according to uh, a report prepared by, I like that it's prepared by Black Knight. Uh, they're a data collection firm. Uh, instead of making up uh, for the shortfall, new listings have slumped further in 2021. Year over year, new listing volumes were down 16% in January and 21% in February, amounting to a $125,000 uh, 125, deficit in inventory compared to the same time in 2020. This is a quote from uh, Ben Grabowski. Grabowski. He's Black Knight's I don't know how to say Grabowski or Grabowski. Grab Grabowski. I'm going to go with Grabowski. But he is Black Knight's data and analytics president. And he says, any hopes of 2021 bringing an influx of homes to the market and lessening pressure on prices appear to be dashed for now. Uh, <laughs> buyers who were, who were fortunate enough to snag an available single family home, uh, new listings are down 46% from a year ago. They paid a premium. Uh, and this is why that little stat right there, new listings are down 46% from a year ago. That's why I ran my numbers on listings taken on act on contracts when they were taken. Uh, in February, the median single family sales price rose nearly, nearly 16% from last year. So if you didn't sell last year, ah, man, I don't know. When are we going to hit the top is, is my question that I keep going to. But anyway, uh, home prices in most big cities also increased due to low inventory. In nearly three quarters of the 100 largest U.S. markets, annual home prices grew more than 10%. Overall, home prices grew 11.6% year over year in January. Uh, the most growth in a single year since 2005, Ray. Nice. Um, so it looks like now's the time to cash out if you're a seller, but also good luck in finding your next home. If you're wondering right. what to do, I actually have a series of reels. I need to finish that. I think I said that last week. I'm going to try to finish all those this week. Uh, but there's a series of reels about 11 things you can do to find your next home. Um, it is possible out there and we are helping our agents. I know great professional agents around the country are not having, I mean, it's difficult, but they're not having a problem getting their uh, clients into homes that are selling. Uh, so yeah, are, I'm doing know, pretty good. I'm having yeah. trouble with in, in the higher, you know, when I go into that luxury market, but um, cause I have yeah. a couple clients up there, but I'm doing pretty well, knock on wood. But um, so I, I want to go back real quick. So I did listings, you know, listing contract date, uh, right. April 1st, to or sorry january 1st to april 7th of 2020 414 and this is just rancho cucamonga just my city 414 listing contracts are dated through that those dates same period this year 416 so it's not down this big number there's still the same number of listings taken i don't know where they are or what's going on but I mean, and that's only that's only 100 listings a month. So that's still low, but it's not incredibly lower than a year ago. It's not like we had 800 or 1,000 a year ago, and now we have much, much less. It's actually two more listings taken in the last, you know, in the, this, this year compared to last year, which is really are interesting you, to me. Are you saying, Dan, that the great outflux of California has... Um has increased your listing inventory to be different from the rest of the world. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because so many people are leaving California that that it's increased you know, it by by two listings in Rancho. Uh, the reoccurring theme on our show. Uh, 